Man, what a game Star Wars Battlefront 2 is. What? No. No, not that game. This Star Wars Battlefront 2. Yeah. Wait. Hang on. Enlarge. Now bring up the other one as well. Huh. Zoom in. Zoom in again. Zoom in more. More. If you look close enough, you can see... Yep. There it is. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? It was on the 17th of November that Star Wars Battlefront 2 was put onto the shelves and into people's consoles. It received for the most part pretty positive reviews from game critics, stating that the single player did feel like it was overlooked due to the multiplayer focus. Gleefully, people were launched into the games and everything seemed to be going smoothly. That was until people started to wonder how they would unlock the heroes, such as Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. Members of the community started to do some digging and one redditor revealed that if you were to play 40 solid hours without any spending in between on other features of the game, you would unlock just one of those heroes. This, this is when EA started to tank. Almost right away, Star Wars fans and gamers picked up their pitchforks and made their displeasure known. Things got worse when GameSpot did research into how likely it would be to unlock enough credits to buy a hero. They spent $100 on loot boxes and only made half the amount to buy a hero. Half. This is because Battlefront's loot box system is totally randomized. They then estimated that you may have to spend $260 on loot crates just to unlock one hero. But if you're thinking, I know, I can just play offline. In response, EA says, you. Those words mean a great deal to us. They help us express just how we as a company see things differently. Because for some unknown reason, in their arcade mode, they have a cooldown for your credits that you can earn. Here's the cherry on top of all this. Are you ready? A story has emerged of someone playing the hero vs hero mode in which you play as a Jedi to battle to the death against other players who are also playing Jedi. This person has claimed that all the heroes he bought were taken so he couldn't actually play the game. He had to watch others have fun or he just had to leave the game. Not even in this one game mode can you play heroes for free. EA was quick to make a response, choosing Reddit as their platform, making an apology and stating that they will make adjustments to the cost of the heroes. But, in the doing so, also lowered the credits you receive from finishing the campaign, from 20,000 credits to 5,000. Understandably, this has enraged fans even more. I remember thinking to myself that EA would have learnt their lesson with this whole fiasco and bought out something much better, but well... <laughs> No. After removing most microtransactions from the game, EA's new system of leveling and upgrading is painfully slow. Because of this, players have been using an exploit in the game where if they just attach a rubber band to the joystick of the controller, it will make their player run around in circles without stopping, allowing them to be present the entire match without actually being kicked and gaining XP. This then ruins the game for others as teams can be unbalanced. It baffles me that someone who spent money on this game would then proceed to not actually play the game. It's like they hate a challenge or something. Ooh. Deep breaths. Lastly, a couple weeks ago I made a reddit post asking fans what they thought of Dead Space 4. I wasn't even trying to bring up EA, but this is the effect of what EA has done to Battlefield and now to the rest of their games potentially. <laughs> Doubt it. EA will turn it into a buy half a necromorph and get second half 50% off. 
Nope. EA owns the rights, so even if they made a new Dead Space, it would be as worthy of the name as the new Battlefront is of it. Before people start writing angry letters towards EA, please do not aim them at the developers. The devs had nothing to do with this decision making when it comes to making this game. This has been Lee. Thanks for watching. No one gives a fuck about openings after four kids, so here's the drama. Why do you speak like you're shouting and you're so out of breath? Get the basement check for black mold, it'll be the cause of your death. It's not sitting correctly. What's your posture about? While you're at the chiropractors, maybe you can source your taste and move is out. Spoiler alert, not like your gummy is the only army mommy I wanna fuck with.